Unfortunately, the haze is back. We're going to deal with some air quality issues through this week. Mild conditions will be back into the 80s tomorrow near average, and then our next rain chance comes Wednesday through Friday, even Saturday, but not all day rains. Most of those periods will be dry. Rainfall amounts right now, if we look at the total through the month, for Eau Claire, we're still short basically in all categories all the way up to yearly. We're still about an inch and eight tenths. If you look at uh, La Crosse, it's the same type of story. We've got three tenths yesterday, but then you look at the monthly totals, we're still about an inch and eight tenths. You look at the yearly total, we're still about an inch and seven tenths away from where we should be. We picked up some, but drought conditions still across the area, so we could use more. Fortunately, we'll get a little bit later in the week. For, for tomorrow, tonight, we're looking at clearing skies, getting back down to the mid 50s, even some upper 40s in certain areas. It could be quite chilly, what we're not used to, but dealing with the warm temperatures the last couple of weeks. Tomorrow, more sunshine, less wind, still the haze out there, but more mid 80s for most of the area. So that's the good news. We'll see warmer conditions. Overall, that low to the east begins to push off. We're seeing the clearing skies, and then we're going to watch all this activity out west with multiple little waves producing showers and thunderstorms. It's going to take till Tuesday into Wednesday, especially Wednesday when we start seeing that line come across. And that Wednesday afternoon to Wednesday night is probably our first good chance of seeing some showers and thunderstorms across the area as that pushes across. Now, beyond that, we'll still have more disturbed weather coming across. So through Friday, even the fr Thursday, Friday, more showers and thunderstorms. We then the thing starts to begin to push east, excuse me, south of the area. We shall probably dry out for the weekend. So there's chances there, but not significant amounts of rainfall with it. Overall tonight, as we mentioned, clearing skies. Temperatures will continue to fall into the 50s by after overnight for some areas. As you wake up, sunshine, hazy sky conditions. We'll have that upper 40s, low 50s. And then as we go through the noon hour, we'll climb back up into the near 80 degrees, lighter winds. Then as we get towards Monday, Tuesday night and Wednesday, notice it starts bringing in a lot of cloud cover, even popping up some showers. I think a lot of that won't reach the ground too dry, but we will see increasing clouds as we go through Tuesday night and Wednesday as that wave begins to approach, which will mean we'll have the showers probably coming in later on Wednesday. Smoke-wise, pretty thick. You'll see it kind of push to the south today, and then actually as we get to tomorrow, It'll begin to rotate back up, being pulled north with the wind change there. So it's going to be circulating around the area. So where other areas see heavier smoke or not, kind of up in the air. But we will have that air quality issue to deal with through probably at least midweek. So something to keep in mind of. That's why that advisor alert is out. Otherwise, you see the rain chances coming through Friday. Best probably is going to be Wednesday night and Thursday, mid 80s. We dry out for the weekend. And it looks like we're going to start heating up for the 4th of July. I think we will start reaching those 90s once again.